I'm gonna show you a bit of our YouTube video editing workflow for my YouTube channel, Premiere Gal. So we don't work locally on our drives. We actually switched over to LucidLink last year. And basically it's cloud storage that allows you to basically mount it like it's a local disk on your computer. So you can see here, I have this gal-edits and this is our LucidLink file space. And you can see the way that I have it organized is I have a folder called editors. This one's really important, recurring assets assets that we use very often mm -hmm. in all of our projects here. And so what I'm gonna show you right now is how I set up my timeline. I just put in our footage here of my talking headshots. And then I also do a screen record as well. And I actually record my main USB microphone into the screen record. And then I have a lavalier mic that's hooked up with my talking head because I always recommend having two sources of audio just in case one fails. So what I do to start is I just uh, right click on the first clip and I just do new sequence from clip. And then I usually go in and just rename it. So I'll just drag in my second talking headshot, drag in my screen record. So I just lasso and select all of them. And then I go to synchronize, delete that gap and just make sure everything is nice and snapped together. Another little tip that I have is if you press Alt or Option on a Mac, you can select just one singular layer and then just delete that because these are empty, right? And then you can like select them and move them up individually as well. Since everything's synced up, I can just move this up now so the talking head is above. So what I end up doing here is I actually lasso and select my talking head shot and I control click on it and I actually nest it. And then I can go to Lumetri Color and underneath Basic Correction, I'll just go ahead and click on Auto mm -hmm. and you can see all of the controls were adjusted automatically with the help of AI, which is awesome. So what I do for my little tiny mask headshot, which is visible in the corner overlaid with the screen record, is I actually duplicate this again by holding Option and drag it up. And then what I end up doing is just turning off the visibility of the talking head nest below. And I'll go over to effect controls and I'll just create a little circular mask, just kind of situated over my head, <laughs> reduce the feathering. And now graphics templates is where you find all of your mogurts. So I created this uh, yellow circle just by using these tools down here. So then I just drag this down here and then I re-nest the talking head and the graphic together, call this React Cam. Boom. So now I have everything set up. So I'm gonna go to the final timeline here of this particular edit. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can make proxy smaller versions of your high-end footage to speed up your workflow and better yet, how to automate this process for you so you don't even have to think about it. So you'll notice that we had that, you know, kind of zoom in in the beginning there. We made some presets using the transform effects. And let me just open up our extension here so I can show you okay. uh, for the intro. I just double click on that and it applies it automatically. I'm gonna show you the new search panel, which is super awesome. As it says here in this dropdown, you can pretty much search anything inside your projects that you have open. In this case, I wanna add data behind me in my rotoscope. So if I just search data, I think I like this one. Probably do I here and O for out and then drag this here and then kind of resize it to my clip. And then I wanna show you how we do rotoscoping. So I recommend duplicating the camera footage and then right clicking on it and replace with After Effects composition. And what I'm gonna do is double click on this clip and select this moment here. Double click on this to open up the layers panel. Use the roto brush tool to select my talking head. And so then you just press play and you let Roto Brush do its thing. We can just go ahead and save that. And then we can come back here and it should be Rotoed. Oh, there we go. There it is. This moment after the Roto, I wanna have a B-roll shot of like somebody thinking. So I can choose this drop down, and let's just put in the word think. All right, so now I have the B-roll clip. So we did all kinds of different things on this stream. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you. We'll see you guys soon.